Before we do compound formulas and names, we need to go over the fact that the nonmetals, when they are in compounds, their name is going to change to have an IDE suffix on the end. Now, this is going to occur in ionic compounds where you have a nonmetal as the ion and it's going to occur second. It's also going to occur in covalent compounds where you have both nonmetals in the compound. The first nonmetal's name will be normal with a prefix, as you will see, but the second element's name that's going to be a nonmetal will end in IDE. So how do their names change? Well, let's just go through the list real quick so you can see them. Carbon will change into carbide when it is the second element. Silicon will change into silicide. Nitrogen, nitride. Phosphorus, phosphide. Arsenic, arsenide. Oxygen, oxide. Sulfur, sulfide. Selenium, selenide. Tellurium, telluride. Fluorine, fluoride. Chlorine, chloride. Bromine, bromide. Iodine, iodide. And acetine, acetide. So whenever the elements come in the second part of the name or in the formula, they will be called by these suffixes that end in IDE.